Okay, so here's our next section that we're going to cover is 2.6. Now 2.6 is all about solving for a specified variable. In these cases, we're going to give you a formula. And a formula has usually more than one variable. Okay, let's start with a simple formula. D, V equals N. This is basically saying that density times volume will give you the mass, or mass equals density times volume. Did you need to know that this is a formula for mass? No. What we're trying to teach you is that we can tweak this equation to solve for a different letter than N. We could solve for the letter D, or we can solve for the letter V. In these problems, they're going to give you a formula. Okay? You don't need to know what the formula stands for. What you have to realize is that they're going to ask you to rearrange this, and they'll say, solve for, let's say, D, density. So you're going to have to manipulate this equation so that you can get the letter D by itself. Right now, D is not by itself. It has a V listed. Now, some problems are going to have nothing but letters, and other problems are going to have numbers listed. So how do we solve this? Because when you look at this, you're going to say, well, it is an equation. It does have an equal sign. We could do this, have a left and a right hand side, but then it gets a little confusing because you go like, wait, is there a constant side? Is there a variable side? I mean, they're all variables. So we're gonna take that solving equations, but tweak it just a little bit. Remember, it's the four steps. It was simplify, labeling, moving, divorcing. Well, I had to tweak it because we don't have the words constant coefficients variables too much. So the first thing, all we're going to do is if there's any parentheses, just remove them. You know how to remove parentheses. We do distributing property. Most of the formulas that we're going to deal with won't have parentheses, but I'll show you one that does, but most of them won't. The second step is that you're going to underline the variable that you're asked to solve for. So in every question I give you, they're going to have a variable that they'll say solve for X or solve for D or solve for P. They're going to tell you whatever they're asking you to solve for, that's the variable. Then any item that's added or subtracted. Now, normally we would say any constant, but because we only have letters, we're just going to say any item. They could be a variable, a letter. They could be a number. Okay? So any item that's added or subtracted to the underlying variable, you want to move that first. How do we move anything? Well, we did the additive inverse. Remember, that just means the opposite sign. And you got to remember that the moving step is a balancing step. Whatever you do to the left, you have to do to the right and vice versa. And then our final step is the divorcing step. That's where you're going to separate that underlying variable with anything else that is multiplied with the underlying variable. So sometimes it could be a number, like a coefficient, or it could be another letter. Okay? So a lot of times I'll use air quotes when I say coefficient when it comes to this stuff. Because here, the question we have on the board has no numbers. So what you would do is you would divide both sides by that item. If, one, if the item is a fraction, then you want to remove that first. And you remember how to remove fractions when they're like coefficients, you just do the reciprocal. Um, sometimes we might have a fraction and a regular item. So we, I'll show you that where you're going to move the fraction first and then take care of the other thing that is multiplied. So sometimes you might have one item that's a fraction and another item that's a whole item. Um, so you might have to do the divorcing step into two steps. Okay? So let's take a look at this guy. You can see we don't have any parentheses. So we don't have to do any simplifying. The next step, 
underline the variable that you're asked to solve for. You have to know what letter you're being solved for. So we're going to underline the letter D. So that just means I need to get D by itself. Treat this as a variable. Treat everything else as constants or coefficients. Even though that they're letters, just try to treat them as constants or coefficients. We ask yourselves, here's the underline. Is there anything added or subtracted with this D? No. This V is multiplied. Remember, if you don't see an operation, it's understood as multiplication. So if I don't see an addition or subtraction sign, then I don't have to move. But we do have this V that is multiplied with the D. So how do we get rid of the letter V? We're going to do the divorcing step. So even though it doesn't look like a coefficient, we're going to treat it as a coefficient. We're going to divide both sides by the letter V. Remember, the divorcing step and the moving step, whatever you do to the one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. So if I'm going to divide this side by the letter V, of course I'm going to have to divide this side by the letter V. Now, N divided by V, they're two letters. I don't know what they are. So you're going to keep them as letters. M on top, V in the denominator. Now over here, when you have a V on top and a V on the bottom, it's kind of like when you had 3D divided by 3. You know that the 3 on top and the 3 on the bottom canceled out. It's the same thing with letters. So a V on top and a V on the bottom, as long as it's multiplication factors, you can cancel out. So then we just have D by itself. So I was able to take our original formula, which was density times volume equals mass, and I could solve for the letter D. So if any time that I had a chemistry class where it says, hey, find the density, I knew that I just take whatever my mass was and divide by volume. Or if they asked me what's the mass and I knew the density and volume, then I multiply these two. And you can tweak this if you need to solve for volume. You'll know that that's mass divided by density. So our goal is to take formulas that you use in science, tweak them to solve for a different type of letter or variable. It's easy as just using those four steps that we've learned from equations.